So, before we continue, I just noticed that I made a little mistake. I forgot to save the tool to the shelf that we created before. So, click here, go to the path, find our shelf and save it there. So, now it's saved in there. So, I'm going to start writing the code. So the first thing is going to be importing the PySite2 modules. So Kitty widgets is the one that we are going to use the most, but I will also import Qt Core and Qt GUI. To create this window, we will base it in the queue dialog. So we need to create a new class based on the queue dialog. So new class called live renamer and based on Qt widgets dot queue dialog. Now we start the cons the constructor. And we call the super function. And here we need to call the init again. And now inside these brackets we need to put the parent for this tool. And we want to parent this window to the Houdini main window. So for that we have the who dot qt dot main window and we need to import the who module so we go up here and import who okay so now let's configure our window to keep things Organized. I'm going. I'm going to create a function called configure dialog, and I'm going to do three things: setting the window title and setting minimum dimensions for our window. So, self set window title. So this is the title that we are going to use. Okay. And now the dimensions. So I'm going to set minimum dimensions. So it, it's never smaller than that. So width, well, I will say 240 and height 320 for example yeah. so now we need to call this in the init function so as soon as this class is instantiated we will call this and configure the dialog so we save and let's go into Houdini okay so I will import it as LR, so it's shorter. And while we develop this, I will reload the module every time we click the tool. So we update all, all the changes. So let's instantiate our class. So renamer equals LR live renamer and now we need to show our window so renamer dot show like that so now if i click this you see we have our window here and these are the dimensions that we set in the code so we can make it bigger but never smaller so this is what we want in the next video, we are going to create our widgets. So we need to plan ahead and think what will our tool need. We will have some nodes 
and we will select them and when we click the tool I want to have here a couple of strings one will be searching and another replacing so it will search in the nodes name and replace this string with this string here so this will be the main functionality then I will have a separator and I'll have some options like the prefix the suffix and a checkbox for removing the trailing digits of the node so remove blah 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 and a checkbox here another separator and two buttons one for accept and another for close so this is our distribution our sketch for this tool so this will be Q line edits like these ones here this will be a Q checkbox Q push buttons and it will all be arranged in a vertical layout with a small horizontal layout here so this is what we will do in the next lesson so see you there bye bye